Welcome to Film Fan. Quick video. I just watched the new Dune 2020 trailer, and let me just tell you, it was mind numbing. Incredible. I mean, this is a channel, just so you know, right? I, I get excited over film trailers. I get excited, the anticipation. I got to see the, the, tr the teaser trailer for this trailer uh, this past weekend when I saw Tenet. I saw that on the big screen, so I got to see what this trailer, like a glimpse of this trailer. So I've been looking forward to this. It just premiered 12 o'clock Eastern Standard Time here on uh, Twitter Movies. Uh, now it's available. I guess you can probably find it anywhere. I'll put a link down in the description below to where you can see this trailer if you've not seen it already. But if you're anything like me and you're looking forward to Dune 2020, you've probably were sitting by your desk waiting for this to come on just as much as I uh, have been. So anyway, thoughts on the trailer. It looks, it's everything you would expect uh, Denis uh, Villeneuve to, to have come up with. He's, uh, the scope, the shot, some of it is just like mind-blowing. The characters, Jason Momoa plays in this, Dave Bautista, Zendaya, Josh Brolin, uh, Javier Bardem. It just looks, it's an epic, it's going to be huge. Now, on that note, if you're not a Dune person, if you don't understand or if you've, you, you're not familiar with Frank Herbert's original Dune, the, the novel from way back when, then this will just be another big sci-fi action flick to you. Uh, and those of you who do know Frank Herbert's Dune, and you do know the original Dune, which is back done in, it was done back in uh, early 80s, uh, starring Kyle McLaughlin, which wasn't a really big commercial success. It was kind of a failure, um, but it's reached like cult status at this point. I've watched Dune probably a billion times, and it's not a great film, but it fits in that realm of sci-fi cult thing that I kind of just hold on to and I wish to be a better version well our day has come because there's plenty who have that same exact thought and what Denis has done uh, from what I understand is Broken Dune Down it's going to be two different it's going to be two films thank God I was just talking to one of my friends about that the other day saying that you know these films nowadays go two and a half three hours you know three hours long and something like this something this big something with such a scope I wouldn't mind sitting in the theater for four hours. Give me a little intermission, intermission, come back and, and see the second half. Um, and so thank God he's going to be doing this in two films. And I'll tell you why, because the original Dune, again, for those of you who do not know, the original Dune is a, is a very complex, uh, rich, dense universe. The characters, the storylines, the families and what's going on there. There's a lot going on. So you can't throw this in a two-hour movie or like like they originally tried to do you just can't do it it's got to be well done for the screen it's got to really give you a lot of information but at the same point be very entertaining and I believe that's what Denny has done just looking at the trailer it, it's going to be mind-blowing uh what another small thing about the trailer is they used um Eclipse from which is the last track on Dark Side of the Moon uh, from Pink Floyd. So that kind of had me. I'm always into when I, when there's like a little pop culture reference or some song like a Nine Inch Nails song they're using or a Jay Z Kanye song that they're using in a trailer. That always impresses me. But they're using Eclipse from Dark Side of the Moon. They're not the actual track. It's like some operatic slower version of it. Not sure if that's gonna make it to Hans Zimmer's score, um, but it's interesting. I like the way they used it in the uh, trailer. So trailer looks great. Everyone looks fantastic. Uh, I cannot wait to see this film. If you saw the trailer and you waited and you actually saw it already, let me know in the comments below what you thought of it. If you're planning to see it, again, I'll leave a link in the description below where you can find it and click on it and go ahead and watch it. If you have this much hype and enthusiasm over something like this as I do, let me know in the comments. Or if you think I'm crazy, let me know in the comments. But for me, this is what it's all about. This is what my channel's about. It's Loving the movies. I feel the same way now as a grown man in this day and age as I felt as a kid when I when a movie, when you saw the trailer for a movie, you were excited by that. That does not leave you when you're a film fan. When you got that much passion for the movies, it just doesn't leave you. So things like this, days like this, looking forward to you know putting it on my calendar that the Dune 2020 trailer is going to be premiering today at 12 o'clock and waiting for it. That is a big deal for people who really love the cinema. So I leave on that note, you know, if you're a cinema lover as much as I am and something like this has got you that hyped and that excited, then power to you. Again, let me know in the comments. And if you haven't subscribed already, hit the subscribe button, hit the notifications bell so you know when I put up a new video. Just a quick thing on Dune 2020. I'm excited to buy it. Very excited by it. I can't wait to see this movie uh, and I'll see you on the next film fan. Take care.